Happy New Year, everyone. You may be seeing this late on December 31st, 2021, or you might be seeing it on January the 1st, 2022. But I wish you and I pray for you that 2022 will be a wonderful year. I'm not sure if you do this, but I do this. Over the holiday season between Christmas and New Year's is pretty quiet for me. And so I ask the Lord, what would he want me to know about 2022? And I wait and I listen to what he has to say. And this is what I felt that he had to say. And I'd like you to stay to the very end because at the very end, I'm going to invite you to let go of 2021 with me and we'll walk together into 2022. How's that? But first of all, here is the word that I felt that the Lord gave me to share with you as well. I asked the Lord for his word for 2022 and I felt him say, hope needs an anchor and that anchor is me. Your expectancy for good things must lie in my goodness and my steadfastness. Be selective about what or in whom you place your hope. Uncertainty on the earth will continue and the seas will be stormy. But trust in me and I will be your north star. I will navigate you through in safety, but you must keep your focus on me. Look not to the left or the right. There will be continued uncovering of corruption and hidden evil in high places and in all spheres of influence, including the church. Idols will fall on all sides. As I prayed, I felt Psalm 37 would hold great importance in 2022. I'd ask you to go read Psalm 37 on your own time, but you read the first few verses of that and you'll understand what I'm talking about. It's when David wrote and asked, why do the evil prosper? And uh, God had something to say about that back to him. And when you read it, I think you will be encouraged as well. Evildoers will fall, yes, but the identity of some of those evildoers might shock you. But by placing your trust and, look, and looking to him to be your help, Psalm 121, these revelations will not shatter you. Don't allow the clamor and noise of competing political and economic pundits to deafen you from hearing his voice. He will be your compass and he will be your guide. But again, I felt God say, keep your eyes focused on me. Be encouraged. Surrender your perceived right to know what lies ahead in 2022. <laughs> but know these two things are never changing. God's intentions are always to bless and his plans for you are good. Expect the unexpected, but do so with the rock solid guarantee from our heavenly father. You are secure in the firm grip that will never let you go. He will provide in unusual ways through unusual sources this year, I feel. The God who sent ravens to feed the hungry servant in the desert will not abandon you or allow you to be overwhelmed. 2022 will be a season of thriving and not just surviving. Stay firmly in his grip and don't look back. Walk with confidence in his promises and keep his eyes fixed on his call for you. So join with me as I pray and I give thanks uh, and cons consider what I'm about to share that you've got the full right to say these things after me. And if you're wondering where I'm reading from, this is on my website and I will put the link in the description on YouTube so you can find it really easy. Fare thee well, 2021. 
thank you, 2021, for the wisdom, patience, and strength I developed through the challenges you brought my way. 2021, I promise never to forget the truths I learned as I journeyed through the past 365 days with you. Thank you for the laughter and the joy and the victories you provided me. Thank you for the challenges that provided me with the opportunity to grow in faith, trust, compassion, and grace. But now it's time to bid you farewell. And with that, 2021, I leave behind the baggage of regrets, failures, disappointments, and sorrows I picked up along the way. Welcome in 2022. I choose to look forward and I'm not looking back. I walk with confident anticipation toward all that God has for me in 2022. As I step into the new year, I know that my God is with me. His right hand upholds me and he leads me well. As I step forward, I reject the temptation to assume that I know what lies ahead. I surrender my fear of change to the Lordship of Jesus, and I waive my right to resist that change. And I pray that 2022 will be a year of hope for you, that um, I pray that you will see the fruit of your prayers and your own faithfulness. And I pray that you will allow God to come so close to you that he can show you just how faithful he really is. 